Let's learn how to build and publish your Unity game to itch.io. So you have built your game and you are ready for the world to see it. What do you do next? Okay, so here I have this project that I've been working on for a little bit. I've called it Planetary Fusion, and I have decided that it is done. First, go over here and check my build settings. So the first thing that you're going to want to check is to make sure that all of the scenes in your game that you want to be in your game are in your build settings. So right now I have my main menu and I have my game. So the scene that you have in this slot that is the index zero slot is going to be the scene that loads first. So typically this is going to be your main menu or your start screen if you have one. Now, if you are using the free plan, you are going to have that splash screen that you can set up. Um, I do have another video on that if you want to learn how to set that up. But your splash screen will show up before this and then that index zero will load next. So that's the first thing to note. And then the next thing we have to do is check our platform. So there are two different things that you can do here. So in mine, you can see that I have a Windows build, dedicated server, Android and iOS. So if you're building to itch.io, you first have to decide, do I want people to be able to play it in the browser or do I want people to be able to download this? So if you want to have kind of like a typical PC game where you have like the desktop shortcut that you can click on, which opens up the game, that is going to be this build right here. Now, if you want people to be able to play this on itch.io in the browser, you want to have a browser game that is going to be a WebGL build. And you can see here that I don't have this yet. So I'm going to show you how you can build this. So I'm going to walk you through this tutorial doing the WebGL build just because it's slightly more involved. You can definitely still follow along if you are doing the desktop build, but I figured the WebGL would be good to kind of cover all of our bases to make sure we're all taken care of just because it's a slightly more complicated, but it's not that bad, I promise. We'll get through it. So the first thing that I need to do because I don't have this is I need to go into my Unity Hub and look at my projects. Um, I've actually called this the Sun Game. And then look at what editor version I'm using. So I'm using 2022.3.14f. So now if I take that and go into my installs, you can see that it's this one right here. And it actually has all of the modules that we have downloaded. So I only have these downloaded. So now if I go into add modules here, I can go and add the WebGL support. So now I'm going to install this and it may take a little while. So after what feels like an eternity for me, um, I have successfully installed the WebGL build. So we are good to go there. And now what we're going to do is we are just going to restart everything. Restart all of this or we're going to have some issues. And now if I go into file and build settings, see that I have WebGL downloaded. So now I just need to switch my platform. So we can see that we've successfully switched the platform. We have the little Unity logo right here. So we're good to go on that. Now I'm just going to do a couple things. I'm going to go to player settings and now we can just kind of change some of our things. So I'm going to do rigor mortis tortoise and this is no longer the sun game. It is planetary. And you can set icons and, and things like that. I may end up doing this, but uh, for this tutorial, I'm just going to skip over that a little bit. So, and now we're going to actually get to build this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my um, file explorer right here and I'm going to go to desktop, and then desktop folder, and I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call this um, PF builds. So this is a good practice to do anytime you are doing a build is create a new folder and then build inside of that, um, especially if you are on a Mac device. So it's not a good idea to build directly to your downloads folder, because if something goes wrong in your build, you can actually wipe out your entire downloads folder. Uh, don't ask me how I know. <laughs> I have definitely done that and it is there's nothing you can do about it and it sucks. So yeah, uh, treat your builds kind of like a live explosive and put them inside of a folder. So if something goes wrong, it just goes wrong inside of there. So, uh, so now that I've done that, I'm going to go over here and I can say 
build and I get to choose. Oh wait, I already have a Unity Builds one. That's interesting. Okay, I'm gonna create a new folder then. <laughs> Planetary Fusion. I'm gonna click inside of here and select, and then it's gonna take a little bit to build and it's going to build to that folder. All right, and now our build has finally completed. So now if I go into my Planetary Fusion folder, you can see everything that has been built and it has been built successfully. So what I'm going to do is take all of this and we're going to compress it to a zip folder. Zip file, I should say. I'm just going to call this um, PF Web Builds. All right. And now we have our game and we are so close to being done. See my lovely Pomodoro extension that I've made. So we're going to go to itch.io. Another quick note here, but uh, go to itch.io on the browser and they do have a desktop app. Last time I tried to do this, you are kind of able to upload your games, but they don't give you all of the features that you get on the web. So now that I've logged in, I'm going to go over here to my dashboard. You can see that um, this is what I did for the last game jam. A ghost rodeo so I'm gonna click on create new project say planetary fusion it is not going to be downloadable if you want to have that PC game with the desktop shortcut that's what you will do but I want to have a web build so I'm going to say HTML project but for now I think it's good enough so now I'm gonna to go to uploads then select my zip folder over here. Then you can choose, do you want it to be embedded on an actual page or do you want this to be full screen? And you know what, I think I'm gonna do, click, click to launch in full screen. Do save and view page. There we go. So I'm actually playing this in the browser, but it's full screen, which is pretty cool. So now I can press any button and look at that. My game is running. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And then when you're ready for the world to see your game, you finished all of your tweaking. All you have to do is hit this little public right here, click save, and you have successfully built and uploaded your Unity game to itch.io. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was really helpful. If you want to check out Planetary Fusion, it should be out by the time that this video is out. And let me know what you think.